You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to talk Game of Thrones, Episode 10, The Children. Very interesting title. Like, what children are they referring to? Are they referring to, like, you know, Bran, and Arya, Sansa? Are they referring to the Lannister children? Uh, very interesting title. Uh, and the preview very doesn't really show much. It really doesn't. It shows a couple of quick scenes of random shit. Uh, <laughs> it's really, really hard to preview anything with a trailer like that. So don't expect this video to be very long. But it does look like they're going to revisit everywhere and close, I hope, uh, bring some stuff to a close. You know, the, we still know we're going to get Season 5. There might be a couple of things that will linger on through the off season into next season. But it better not be anything big. You know what I mean? So, what did we see? We saw a quick shot of the dragons at the end of the trailer. Uh, we see that Jon Snow makes it to Mance Raider alive, so that's a good thing. But there's also a lot of shit going on in our forest, so, you know, the, I don't know. I don't know what to say because I can't see... Here's the thing. We know the Night's Watch are not going to go out there and chase them. Period. We know that Melisandre a couple of weeks ago, or a couple of times already, has been pushing for Stannis to go north. We know Stannis has an army now. I mean, do the math, people. You know, maybe that's going to be the big finale is Stannis arrives to fight back Mance Raider and his army when they make their second attempt at, at Castle Black. I mean, it's a speculation. I don't know. I have no idea. You book readers are the geniuses, but please... Please remember that the comments are set for approval so we can avoid spoilers. And even if you put spoilers, because my friend, I have a friend that, that watches these particular comments for me because he's read all the books. So he tells me that people are still putting spoilers in. I guess because maybe they think I'm checking it so they'll spoil it for me, but they won't spoil it for anybody else. But that's why I have him checking it because I don't get spoiled either. So, just remember, the comments are set for approval. So, you know, even if you blurt something out, we're not going to let it go through. Um, I'm expecting this, this... I mean, first of all, I'm expecting the episode to be longer than an hour. Not like an hour and a half, but at least like an hour, ten minutes. Especially after last, week, last week's episode was like ten minutes short of what they normally give us. But it looks like they're going to go... I mean, we see, like I said... So Jon Snow makes it to Mance Raider. We see there's something going on in the forest there. Maybe it's the White Walkers. You know, I didn't even think of that. I'm over here talking about Stannis. Maybe it's the White Walkers. Because we have not seen or heard a thing about the White Walkers since a couple of episodes ago when, uh, you know, the albino Darth Maul decided to, like, do the E.T. thing on the kid's cheek. And then the kid turns into a blue-eyed blue -eyed baby. So, whatever. You know, <laughs> that's the best way I can uh, describe it. We also see that Jamie and Cersei appear to be getting intimate again. Creepy. Ty Tyrion is still in the cell, so he's not dead yet as far as we can tell in that scene. So I guess that's good. You know, we'll see how that plays out. Just it, you, There's just nothing in that pre... There's nothing. They're showing us nothing. It's so quick. It's so quick. You know, like you get a quick shot of Daenerys. You know what I mean? You get a quick shot of, you know, Bran and his, his, his group of sick... Sickly and crippled. You know, that's, that's the group of the sickly and the crippled. Because he can't walk and his boy is vomiting. But they seem to make it to their destination. It seems that way. He saw that same tree while he was at Craster's Keep. So I don't know if this kid's altogether there. Nonetheless, we'll get to see what's going on with them. A, a lot of stuff is going to happen in this episode. I can see it already. And you can tell they don't want to show a damn thing. Those were the fastest cutscenes I've ever seen in a Game of Thrones preview so far, as far as I can remember. So, who knows? Who knows? All I know is, is Tyrion going to die? That's my question. 
is Jon Snow going to make it back to the to Castle Black in one piece? Is there going to be another war scene? Are we going to see the White Walkers? I mean, there's just so many questions unanswered now. It's funny. The, the more you get answered going through the season as we've progressed, finding out what was going to happen with Tyrion, finding out who killed Joffrey, uh, finding out how much Littlefinger has been involved in some of the biggest events to happen in Westeros over the course of the last four seasons. And even now, we reached the very end of the season, and there's still questions. So, I mean, but that's what makes this, that's what makes this show so fun. That's what makes it so exciting. That's what makes me love it the way it is. I mean, I know I'm not perfect. I know I forget the names all the time. I, I you know, uh, some people tell me that it's easier, a little bit easier to remember the names in the books because you hear them more often. More often, you get more time with some of the characters. But yeah, sometimes I just, you know, it's either a character I don't like. If I don't like the character, I, I tend not to care about their name so much, with the exception of Joffrey. But they showed a lot of Joffrey. But the show is just so fantastic and. It's hard for me to criticize anything about the show. Maybe because I haven't read the books, you know? Maybe if I read the books, I'd have more to critique. But to be honest, I'm very satisfied with everything they've done. I'm so upset that this is the last episode. Um, for those of you who've come to the channel, I thank you for spending the season with me talking about Game of Thrones. I will do a couple of videos about Game of Thrones in the off season, but nothing big. Uh, I, found, I found that, I find at least that a lot of people at least don't seem to like the speculation or so much. I love to speculate, but for some reason last year when I did some speculation videos on Game of Thrones, man, people were just like, they were so pissed about it, which I just did not understand. But I said, okay, maybe they just don't like you speculating. Who knows? I don't know. So so I'll, I'll do a couple of like, you know, maybe my top five moments, uh, some WTF moments, you know, kind of that kind of stuff, kind of fun stuff to kind of reflect on the season. And for those of you who are going to check out the other HBO special, uh, The Leftovers, I'm definitely going to be checking that out, and I will be reviewing that as well. Uh, I like what HBO does with their shows, so I'm more than willing to give this one an opportunity. Plus, I always find the story about the rapture to be pretty cool. So, But yeah, Game of Thrones, again, I know this preview is probably not as good as some of the other ones I've done. But again, I just cannot really chew off too much of what they showed. All I know is there are a lot of questions. We look like we're going to visit pretty much everybody, and hopefully we get at least some of those questions answered, and we don't get a really big hanger at the end of the season, like something big happens, but you don't find out till next year, because that would suck. That would suck. I, I'd probably critique it hard for that, but, but anyway, you guys, that's it for this video. I will see you Sunday for my review of episode 10, the finale for season 4 of Game of Thrones, entitled The Children. Very interesting title. Very interesting title. That's it, guys. Take it easy. I'll see you next video. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Nation Facebook page.